Hey beauties, welcome back to the global fashion workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. My name is Olga Diachenko and if you do not see the previous video with me, where I more specifically talk about me, the link will be down below. Also, I want to thank you all for the warm welcome and your support in my first video. It really means a world to me. Today we have our first lesson and I want to do a review of the materials from which we will learn to sew underwear. For sewing underwear you need special materials, elastic bands that are suitable exclusively for this. Let's get started. I want to start with a bra. It can be used on a soft cup on a foam one, also it can be combined. Let's start with ready-made foam. You can buy it in store. They already have a shape. We will learn how to mark products, how to form cups in the following lessons. You can also ask questions in the comments. Lingerie can be sewn from a ready-made foam cup. It can be covered with lace or velvet, depending on what you want at the end. Therefore, from the very beginning, when you just start sewing underwear, you must go through the entire sewing cycle, learn all the technologies. You must be able to choose the right materials and in my next videos I will explain to you how to do this. This cup is ready. It comes with push-ups, different shapes, triangular, oval. I will show you how to work with the finished cup. Next. There is a linen laminated foam rubber. The materials are in beige. Most often it is covered with jersey. It is very pleasant to the touch. The thickness is different, 3 or 5 mm. Inside there is a layer of foam rubber. It is breathable. On one side it is duplicated with jersey. We place it closer to the body when sewing. On the other hand, artificial foam rubber and we begin to fit with lace or mesh. We will sew a volumetric cup from this foam rubber ourselves. The designs will be different, but first we'll go through the construction. Also for sewing we will use nylon mesh. Most often it does not last. We use it in different areas the strength and the details of the bra. In some moments we use it in pencils. The colors are also different. The main material from which we sew underwear is elastic lace. It can be narrow, wide, medium. We can sew the whole set from lace. We can choose a lining satin to match it. Microfiber is also used for sewing lining. It can be dense, thin, it can be grainy with a high coefficient of elongation. With a lower coefficient of elongation, I have a color here called Silver Peony. It feels very delicate and soft to the touch. I wish the camera could let you feel it. There is also a lining satin. This material is for advanced users. You must have the skills to use it. You have to be very careful. This is not the kind of satin that is sold in regular stores and is used in sewing dresses. This is a lining satin. Also used a velvet, silk or synthetic. Any materials. You can think of anything that you want. I also want to show something without which underwear is impossible. These are underbust frames. 
They come in different shapes. In this case, I have a frame for a regular, full-size bra. The shorter edge is towards the center and the higher edge towards the sides. There are also straight frames. The bones are thin. They come in different sizes, lengths, short or long, and they are used for support. Let's move on. There are rubber bands and a tunnel tape. Sewing linen is impossible without them. Elastic bands are different, but you need to try to buy lining elastic bands. This is a special elastic band for strengthening the waist. It has the necessary extensibility. Manufacturers offer us a wide selection. Next, an elastic band to strengthen the cut of the panties. It is so soft. I prefer Italy and Germany from manufacturers. An elastic band is needed so that we strengthen the edges and can wear the product for a long time. When we sew an elastic strap, we need small details, for example hooks, width adjusters, rings. And we need to select these little things so that the elastic fits easily into this neckline. Here is the look at the golden hook. This hood fits under this elastic band. And the last thing but not least, clasp. Everyone knows it, everyone see it. In the next lessons, I will explain in detail how to choose it. I love the more velvety fasteners because they are pleasing to the body. This is where I want to end today's lesson. In the future I will talk about threads and type of threads. Be different and beautiful. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and bell buttons. We would really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in our next video. Bye!